up guys? My name is Juan. Do another fragrance review today. Today we're doing a fragrance review on Adonis Awakens by Argos. And I would suggest this one because I guess it smells similar. Or in the vibe of um, Viking. And it's in that same area. So top notes are grapefruit, bergamot, pink pepper. Middle notes are raspberry, Bulgarian rose, vanilla, chestnut, and jasmine. Base notes are rose, cashmere wood, Mysore sandalwood. Interesting. It is compared to Roses by Al Rehab and nothing else really. So it must be pretty unique. Smells great in the air, but was an instant grubber. Grubber? Happy I only purchased the decan, not blind by worthy of my eyes. In the air, it smells like Starburst, but it smells off up close. Better than Birth of Venus. And last but not least, it's just pink pepper opening fades to raspberry rose dryer sheet. It's a beautiful scent. Very unisex. This is scent. Do not purchase this if is you are currently self-battling with narcissism. Once this beautiful, sweet, rosy note hits your skin, you will relapse every time I put this on. I feel like a brand new man. Okay, interesting. Um, liked a lot, 4.3. And it's an all-around sun, except in the wintertime. Let's get straight into it. This is Argos Adonis Awakes. Dry sheet vibe for sure. Interesting. Very unisex. Very, very unisex. I get the raspberry for sure. And the rose. Not obsessed about it, but I do like it. Yeah, this is saying definitely unisex, 100%. I get the rose. That's very interesting though. That's good. I'm not obsessed about it, but it's good. The chestnut, I definitely smell. The vanilla, the raspberry, the rose, I do smell. And the grapefruit and the pink pepper kind of give it a pretty vibe. The chestnut kind of brings it in being masculine. And the cashmere kind of makes it super soft. Makes it super, super soft. And I understand why they say that, that there's like a dryer sheet vibe. There is a dryer, dryer sheet vibe to this because the, there's something soft. There's something in this fragrance that's soft. Yeah. Oh, I like this. I give it like a solid eight. Like an eight and a half. This is nice. I'm not obsessed over it, but this is nice. Interesting. I like this. I really, really like this. The jasmine, the chestnut, the rose, and the raspberry, the grapefruit, and the pink pepper, and the bergamot. They all kind of mix together to kind of make this dryer sheet rose raspberry vibe. Like if I put this on my clothes. It all project. This seems like something that projects really, really well. Yeah, so like I would think about this as like clean raspberry rose front scented laundry detergent. Or dryer sheets, yeah. Which is going to be non-offensive. You're not going to hurt anybody with this. Yeah, I like this, but I think I might have something similar to this, but this is good. This is really, really good. Um, yeah, I don't mind this. This is good. Nothing really else from this video. just want to keep it as short as possible. Um, as far as a beginner fragrance, would I recommend this? Yeah, I think this is blind by safe. If you like rose and raspberry, this is blind by safe. And you like laundry scents, if you like laundry scents in general, try this. Because you'll definitely get away with laundry scents with this. Prada Lome. Not that they're in the same family, but they're definitely like, re they're relative, you know. And I think it's just that background, the dryer sheet and the cashmere gives it that. 
It's musky for sure. Drying up my throat. This is nice. I really, really like this. Would 100% recommend. Yeah. And that's it for me. Um, like I said, I will drop the video of my Puerto Rico vacation merged into this video at the end. So enjoy that quick video and I'll see you guys for the next one. Drop a comment below what you want to see next. And um, tell me what you think about the fragrance video. All right, let me head back to the Puerto Rico video on my vacation. See ya.